we are given a curve with the equation y equals to x minus 2 raised to the power of 4 and we are told that the tangent to this point A cuts the x-axis at B and the normal at A cuts the y-axis at C. We are asked to find the coordinates of B and C and then we are asked to find the length of AC and finally we are asked to find the area of the shaded region. So since we are dealing with tangents and normals, let's start by finding the derivative. Yeah? y equals x minus 2 raised to the power of 4. So dy dx, bring the power down, reduce the power by 1, and you differentiate inside, you'll get 1. So it is just 4x minus 2 to the power of 3. Okay. So to write the equation of the tangent at A, we need the value of dy dx at x equals to 1. So when x equals to 1, let me use md, that's the gradient of the tangent. The value of dy dx will be equals to 4, 1 minus 2 raised to the power of 3, you will get negative 4. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, raised to the power of 3, you will get minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Good. So now you have the point 1, 1, which is A. You can write the equation of the tangent. Let's write it. Y minus 1 equals to negative 4, X minus 1. And this becomes Y minus 1 equals to minus 4X plus 4. And we'll get Y equals to minus 4X plus 5. That's the equation of the tangent. So we know at B, B is on the x-axis, so we know that y equals to 0. Therefore, plugging in y equals to 0, we will get 4x equals to 5, x equals to 5 over 4. Therefore, we can write, the let me write it here, the coordinates of B will be 5 over 4, 0. Okay? So, let's include that here. This will be 5 over 4. Okay? The point here is B. Okay, now let's take care of the normal. So we'll use this idea, m1, m2 equals to negative 1. Okay, perpendicular lines, the product of the gradients will be negative 1. So now the gradient of the normal, since the gradient of the tangent is negative 4, the gradient of the normal will be 1 over 4. So we can write the equation of the normal. So we have y minus 1 equals to 1 over 4, x minus 1. So we'll have y minus 1 equals to 1 over 4x minus 1 over 4. And finally, we'll get 1 over 4x. Negative 1 over 4, bring the negative 1 to that side, you'll get plus 3 over 4. Good. So it cuts the y-axis at C. So on the y-axis, um, x equals to 0. Therefore, we can write the coordinates of C. We'll have 0, 3 over 4. Good. So we're done with the first part. And then they ask us to find the distance AC. So now we can uh, erase this. So we know the coordinates of A. Let's write it down. Okay. The coordinates of A will be 1, 1. And the coordinates of C will be 0, 3 over 4. Let's use the distance formula x1 minus x2 whole thing squared plus y1 minus y2 whole thing squared and taking the square root. Okay, So we can write AC as equals to 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 3 over 4 squared and you'll get 1 plus 1 over 16. 1 minus, let me write it here properly, 1 minus 3 over 4 is uh, 1 over 4, 1 over 4 squared will be 1 over 16. Okay? The formula that I'm using is the distance formula. I'm just taking the difference in the x values, squaring them, the difference in the y values, squaring them and taking the square root after adding them up. Okay, so now this becomes uh, 16, 1 over 16 plus 1 will be uh, 17 over 16. So we can write our answer as square root 17 over 4. And we're done. Okay, so AC will be the square root of 17 over 
form. Then they want the area of the shaded region. So two parts to this to find the area of the shaded region. So we know this value here is 1 and this value here where the curve touches the x-axis so we know this value here is 2 okay I hope you can say it that's 2 so basically what we are going to do is we want to find the area of the shaded region so we will take this whole thing okay we'll take this whole thing and minus the area of the triangle okay so the area of the whole thing let me write okay area of whole will be the integral from 1 to 2, x minus 2, the power of 4, dx. We are using y dx. Yeah? So the equation of the curve we know x minus 2 raised to the power of 4. So now let's go ahead and integrate this first. We have x minus 2 increase the power by 1 and bring it down and we are done. Okay? So uh, we have 2 and we have 1, upper limit and lower limit. Let's clean this up. We will have uh, 2 minus 2. Let's write it properly. Yeah? We have this, x minus 2. One more line is not going to cause any trouble. 2 and 1. So we'll have 1 over 5. Uh, we'll have 0 first. Then you plug in the 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 raised to the power of 5 is minus 1. So you'll get 1 over 5 units squared. Okay, good. So now we need to find the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle will be half times base times height. So what's the base? The base will be 504 minus 1 will be 104. And what's the height? This will be 1 and you'll get 1 over 8 units squared. Therefore, to finish up the problem, the required area will be equals to the whole area which we found as 1 over 5 minus the area of the triangle which is 1 over 8 this will be 1 over 5 will be 8 over 40 1 over 8 will be 5 over 40 and you will get 3 over 40 unit squared and we are done